Hey guys, how's it going? Now when we talk about smartphones, whether it's a 10,000 rupee device, a 20,000 rupee device, a 30,000 rupee device, or even higher, one thing that's common is that most of the best phones across their price segments are nowadays powered by MediaTek chipsets. Like the company is seriously pushing ahead and has taken the market by storm. But interestingly, most folks still think that MediaTek only manufactures smartphone processors or at least is known just for that. The company is literally so much more than that. And that's what this video is all about. This is one from Guiding Tech and in today's video, I'll be talking about who MediaTek is and how they've completely changed the landscape of not just smartphones, but every smart consumer electronic device in general. Let's get started. Okay, so first, let's start by talking about smartphones. As far as numbers and figures go, MediaTek was named world's number one smartphone chipset supplier in 2020 as per counterpoint research. And since then, the company has only grown forward. In fact, they were also ranked at the top in the second quarter 2021 data. But MediaTek is not only powering most of the smartphones around us, but also various smart devices, such as smart TVs, tablets, streaming devices, Chromebooks, and much more. As a matter of fact, MediaTek is powering nearly 2 billion connected devices a year. In fact, besides smartphones, MediaTek is also the world's leading chipset provider when it comes to smart TVs, Android tablets, and voice assistant devices. Of course, when we talk about smartphones, the MediaTek Dimensity series of chipsets has taken the market by storm and is not only at par, but even better than some of its competition. It also has a major focus on 5G. Not only is the company offering great 5G chipsets, but it's doing so across various segments and categories, which is absolutely great for the consumers. This is in line with the Incredible In, Incredible Out campaign which basically talks about how the tech that goes into the Dimensity chipsets goes on to shape the experience that you can get from a device. I mean, let's be honest, the processor is one of the most important deciding factors when you talk about a smartphone. And MediaTek is ensuring that that single factor in itself isn't just good, but also makes everything in the smartphone also better. Also, MediaTek is making an impact in the space with the new innovative technologies and branding. I mean, I remember I recently saw MediaTek's roadshow vehicles and outdoor branding and how MediaTek even has started a retailer education program where the team educates the retailer about the benefits of chipset technologies. All right, so that was a smartphone market. But what about all the other markets that I talked about? Well, let's start by talking about the truly wireless market. For instance, take these lava robots. On paper, at rupees 2,199, these are one of the most affordable pairs of truly wireless. However, these pack in the MediaTek Arova chipset that upscales the quality to the next level. Now you might ask what this MediaTek Arova is all about. So Arova is basically MediaTek's subsidiary that provides a variety of wireless and broadband communications SOC system solutions. MediaTek Arova chipsets enable true wireless stereo or TWS earphones with high quality sound for all kinds of entertainment and voice calls. Also, for devices that support ANC, the Arova chipset offers next level adaptive ANC technology, which delivers real time adjustments to better block out ambient noise. Another advanced technology on board the MediaTek Arova chipsets is multicast synchronization or MC Sync which allows devices to seamlessly switch between the left and right sides for a more balanced sound with low latency. As far as the sound signature goes, the Lava Pro Buds are definitely tuned for bass levels. The peak volume is comparatively lesser as compared to some other buds, but I would say that it's a good thing. See, most buds in this price segment creak when you push them to the peak volumes, but the Lava Pro Buds maintain their quality even at the max volume. The lows are well tuned and the mids are well balanced too. You definitely get that thumping action when listening to a song with proper beats. See, technically, it's basically down to two factors. For starters, the 11.6mm driver is quite powerful and has been tuned in a way to deliver on the bass. Secondly, the MediaTek Aerova chipset adds to the sound stage by dynamically controlling the levels. Of course, all of this happens under the hood. So as a consumer, you don't have to fiddle around with any settings. It's a pure plug and play experience. And a very good one at that, mind you. 
Add to that the fact that Aroha is a very efficient chipset, which means that while the 55 mAh battery of the Pro Buds might seem small on paper, this easily lasts a little over 19 hours in total, almost in sync with the company's claims. Other than that, there are so many other areas too where MediaTek is not only a prominent name but probably also a market leader. Like seriously, look around you and you'll probably find a smart device that is powered by a MediaTek chipset. That smart TV that you're using, it has a MediaTek processor. In fact, more than a staggering 70% of all TVs worldwide are powered by MediaTek. That Wi-Fi router that your phone is currently connected to, it's probably using a MediaTek semiconductor. The various IoT devices in your house, including smart bands, smart ACs, smart bulbs, etc. They are all probably using MediaTek's products and technologies like narrowband Internet of Things, machine learning and advanced visual processing solutions. And that's not all. When you go out shopping and pay for stuff, it's a MediaTek chipset that's powering those POS or point of sale systems. When you use your fingerprint scanner to record your attendance in the office, it's a MediaTek chipset powering that machine. And there are just so many other examples. Like seriously, if there's a smart electronic device near you, there's a very good chance that it's powered by MediaTek. And well, that was it. To know more about MediaTek devices, do go ahead and check out the links down there in the description box below. Till then, this is Vern from Guiding Tech and I'll see you in the next one.